Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Rakah Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who have taught us the truth, and honors and citations to the elect. So, you know, I just wanted to do a um, add my, my two cents, if I may, unto this, this guy of Vocab Malone who, uh, you know, went up to a Israelite camp, you know, and he's sitting there harassing him, asking him, oh, are you going to do this and this to, uh, to uh, W people? Are you going to smash W people's, you know, heads? Are you going to do this and that? You know, just setting up a case, man. It's clear. It's clear. His day is what what he's doing. And I don't know what's wrong with that Israelite camp. Whether they were set up, you know, or or uh, uh, just have no wisdom. I don't know. Because what you should do is just go straight into the scriptures. You don't gotta uh, answer a thing like that you know answer not a fool according to his folly you know what he's doing you know he's trying to get a, a video footage from when he tries to come with his uh, demonization documentary on us whether they're going to put it on 60 minutes or what you know what he's doing man you don't fall into that you know you don't fall into his trap It was even times where Yahweh shy. When they were when they was asking Yahweh shy questions, and Yahweh shy just said, "Thou sayest," or he wouldn't say nothing at all. You know, you don't gotta play into this damn devil's game. Or if anything, you just get the scriptures, man. So hey, I would have went straight to. You know, he asked, "Hey, are you guys gonna uh, uh, do this to uh, W people? Are you guys gonna do that?" Are you going to take the little baby to do that and this and that and this and that? And I'll say, hey, well, let's see what the scriptures say. You believe in the scriptures, right? You know? We didn't just pull, pull this out of the blue, man. All right? And said we're going to do, you know, this is going to go down, that's going to go down. We didn't just pull it out the blue, man. We didn't, nobody just had a dream one day. You know, here in America, nobody woke up and just had a dream and then just became a doctor. No, it comes from the scriptures, man. It's just Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 17. Oh, I'm sorry, verses, uh, verses 12. Thus saith the Lord power, because that Edom, and we know who Edom is, it's you uh, W people. Right? Unlike, unlike what Vocab says, oh, they're already done away with. You know, no, if they were done away with, we wouldn't be talking about them. They wouldn't be coming up every single day. Because the scriptures say that when, that when they are done away, they shall be chased away like a dream of the night. They shall perish like their own dung. You know, the eye that see him shall, shall see him no more. Okay, so meaning what? We're gonna forget about these damn devils, man. When when the time comes that they do, uh, uh um, that they are done away with. Right. So it says because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and that's what they did. They did it during the Babylonian captivity. You know? They tried to get us hemped up during uh, uh, the Persians and the Medes captivity. Okay? They've been giving hell to us in the in the Greek captivity when they when the Greeks ruled, alright? On the Antiochus Epiphanes and so forth. 
gave us hell as the Romans. You know, I think I believe it was Caligula that burned down Rome and blamed it on the uh, on the uh, Christians at the time, which was just Israelites. But greatly of all, and most of all, you guys took vengeance during the uh, uh, transatlantic slave trade, man. You guys took great vengeance. That was the dirtiest you guys ever did us. In all of history. That's the dirtiest you guys have ever done us, man. Did they not take vengeance, man, during that day? Did they not do that? Oh, yeah. So no wonder why you want to try and write it out in your history books, man. Because you're trying to run from that judgment. Because you're guilty as charged. Vocat, was that not your people? You know, it says uh, against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended. Yeah, so they greatly offended. The things that they've done to us, they greatly offended us, man. Uh, buck breaking, making you sleep with family members just to keep up your, uh, uh, your slave population. You know, taking our wives in the middle of the night for your buddies that came over. So that he can have a great night. You know. More than taking a while. Taking you know little sons and daughters being. You know. And then not to mention. You painted over the image of, image of our savior. Yahweh Shai. And over the most high. You painted over our king. King David. You painted over the angels. So you are guilty as charged man. You have greatly offended the Lord's people. It says, and revenge himself upon them. So guess what? So here's the catch. And this is all scriptural. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom. See? The Lord said he's going to stretch out his hand. And will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from teeming. And they of the dance shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. So it's, it's the Lord is the one you got a problem with. The Lord is the one you got your beef with, man. Because us of ourselves, we can't do nothing. Okay? We will lose terribly. What are we going to do? Use, use guns? That's your blessing. So really, we can't do nothing of our own will. But it's the Lord who you have your beef with, man. At the, at the end of the day, he's the most high power. He's the one that has the power to, to uh, uh, wage war against you. To put you in uh, 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 submission, into captivity, man. It's his vengeance that you got to deal with, man. And he's just going to so happen to use us to carry it out. According to the scriptures. You know, which it says it right here. So you tell me what's going on. It says, and they shall do and eat them according to mine anger and according to my fury. For what? For how you greatly offended. For how you took vengeance of yourselves. And how you took revenge of yourselves, man. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord power. Okay? So we know the vengeance of, of, of you of you ease. Alright? But now you're going to know the vengeance of the Lord. Okay? Let's get some more scriptures on that, man. So now the now the uh now the topic becomes well we're not well well E's already done away with you know which that's another lesson but right now we're clearly getting into how the Lord has a major bone to pick with the with the with uh, the Edomites man.
So you coming up to camps, oh, you're going to do this? You're going to do that? Well, what do you believe after having read that scripture to you? You know? So how about you just stop being a devil and, and, and denounce the Bible now that you uh, realize what's written within it? You know? You got nothing to do with the with the word anyway. This is Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou has had, and who is it talking about? Is it talking about Edom? Alright. Because Mount Seir represents Edom. Verse 5. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of of the sword in the time of their calamity in the time that their iniquity had an end <clears throat> right so hey man they shed our blood back then during the Babylonian captivity right in the day of our calamity <clears throat> and the Lord and the Lord uh, uh, hasn't even forgiven them for that well the Lord uh, as he said I'll read it therefore as I live save the Lord power I will pursue so like, I will prepare thee unto blood so the Lord is going to prepare the Lord prepared a slaughter for you when you shed our blood during the time of our uh, uh, calamity So how much more is he going to prepare slaughter for you when you've outdone that during the transatlantic slave trade, man? I mean, it's a pattern. You shed our blood because you have a perpetual hatred for us and the Lord gets you back. Well, the Lord still haven't gotten you back for the uh, transatlantic slave trade, man. And the atrocities that you've done unto our people. And not just the transatlantic slave trade, but even for the natives, that the, the, the things you've done to the natives, man, because they're Israelites. And there's no written record on how the Lord had got y'all back for that yet, man. Y'all still ruling to this day. So your bone to pick is with the Lord. Really, ultimately. So you can't get out of this, man. You can't even cry your way out of this because the scriptures say um, there's no repentance for Esau even though you saw it carefully with tears, man. So there's no repentance for you. It's too late for you, man. Your ass is grass. Your ass is grass, man. And you want us to feel sorry for you? You want us to uh, pray for you or something? You know, fuck you, man. That's why you mad and upset. So, at the end of the day, you tell me what's going to happen after reading these scriptures, man. It's called being in denial, man. You're in denial. So it says, Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. You know? And there's many, many more scriptures, man. But Lord willing, this was edifying, and with that, I'm going to say Shalom.